What's up everybody? Today I'm at Sandbanks. I don't know if you know Sandbanks, Sandbanks Provincial Park. I've never actually been here. I think I've been camping here once, just like for a night really quick. I don't think we explored any of it, but it's pretty cool. I've never actually seen these sand dunes before. That's what Sandbanks is known for, obviously, hence the name. Photographers love sand. We love getting sand all under gear and shit. But yeah, they've got some cool sand dune trails. I don't know what else is here really, but we'll find out. I know there's a couple other cool beaches and stuff, but I think this is the cool part. We'll probably get a lot of cool pictures here. So got my tripod, got my stuff in my bag, and we're gonna start walking. I think the trail starts over there. So let's go. But I don't know if this is like part of the boardwalk or not, but it looks like you can walk that way. If it wasn't covered, I think here as well. I think there's another path that way. Pretty cool, hiking up these dunes. Never really hiked up a sand dune. Okay, so right off the bat, it's, okay, sandy as shit. Gonna be a lot harder to keep sand out of my shit than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this is sweet though. This is awesome. I think today, without a lot of the water, there is some clouds over there, so once I get to the, the end of the dunes, I might be able to get some cool shots with clouds in them. It actually is cloudier than I thought it was gonna be. That's good. And lots of different clouds, which is cool. It'll give us some nice layers. I think for now, I'm just gonna walk this, start snapping handheld and see what I can get, and then scope out the area to see what we can do with some some tripod stuff, some time lapse, some stacking, some long exposure, stuff like that. Even this is... Even this is just silly. I'm not actually sure how this is going to color grade. Obviously it'll work with like lots of blue and lots of orange and stuff, but we're going to keep walking. We'll see what we can get. Okay, this angle's pretty cool. We're pretty high up right now. We're actually a lot higher than I expected this whole day to be. Get some pretty cool views looking down because we can look down and get a lot of the sky, especially with like the downhill right here, if I can work that in at the same time. Gonna go a bit closer for, yeah. Look at this big patch of sand. It's so open. I'm the only person here in this giant sand dune place. It's pretty cool. If you remember my last video where I was shooting at Presquil, I mentioned that the boardwalk started to get just a bit redundant because it's a lot of the same thing. This is probably even worse, but I do think, you know, once I get to the end and get a good lay of the land, I'll be able to pick a couple good spots, like I mentioned before, to do some time-lapse on exposures. But I think I, I think I have found at least, you know, two, three spots to shoot some from, so. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Hopefully. This view is pretty nice. We're getting a lot of different scenery this way. A lot of different slopes. Lots of cool patches of green in and amongst everything. Should be able to get something here, but the problem with something like this is that there's usually something obstructing the best view. And obviously there's a few things, so you have to work around it. There's also so many bugs. So many bugs. I should get some detail shots too. That tree, so annoying. We have to move up here. <laughs> Holy mud. Oh, that view's pretty cool. I did not realize how big this trail was. I don't even know if you can call it a trail. All right, so I've walked pretty far. I'm getting swarmed by bugs. You can probably see them. Seems like the vantage points are getting too much different. So I think you're going to start setting up some time lapses. This one looks all right. Shooting a time lapse that way. It's actually a pretty nice landscape. Should be a pretty cool turnout. Lots of clouds happening. So that's why they're going to be a nice one.
Got another time lapse shooting. Straight here shooting. I want to try and get. There's like some swampy pools all on this coast. That's Lake Ontario. I actually didn't expect to go this far. I did not expect to walk this far. And every time I get to a higher peak, it just doesn't stop. So you could walk this for a very long time. Lots to see. It's a cool, uh, cool environment. I think it's like the biggest one in like the world. I think it's like the biggest, this type of uh, ecosystem or whatever. I'm gonna lean against this. I'm gonna spend this time getting time lapses while I can, while there's still lots of drama in the sky. Yo, side note, do you guys do any like move to earn stuff? I've got like the Sweatcoin app for a long time. I also use the, the Steppin app. Got a few shoes and shit. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm earning right now. Also, I don't think dogs are allowed here and I've seen a lot of dog tracks. So that means I've seen a lot of coyote tracks. All right, so I made it to the shore. Yeah, pretty underwhelming, to be honest. I don't know, I thought there'd be more to see, but I might just sit here for a quick little snack while I can. There's no bugs here too, so that's nice. Bah! All right, so this view is pretty cool. I think I can make something work with this. Nice and wide, you can see some water, lots of different landscapes. There's a couple of the paths you can see. I think I need to get right up here. You know, it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, but, oh, well, maybe if I pan out, try that. So. Ah. So you can see, doing another time lapse here. I don't know if it'll actually turn out or not. Got the tripod set up pretty awkwardly, so that's a win. Here, I'll show you. So I'm on like the side of the hill. And you can see it's, you gotta work the angles, but it's working. So I've been out here in these dunes now for about two and a half hours almost. I think I'm almost out of ideas. You know, I could probably do a few more detail shots, stuff like that. But other than that, the shots of the dunes, I think I've kind of exhausted them for the day. All in all, so far, I've got a lot of good stuff already. Another good day. We'll go see what else this park has to offer. This could be a two-part episode for all I know. Because there's a lot here. It actually turned out to be a great day for time lapses. There's tons of clouds in the sky now. They actually moved, made their way in and gave me some nice drama, so now I'm just shooting that way. Look at this though. How isn't this falling over? This should be falling over, but it's not. We're shooting that point. Lots of drama in the sky. Sorry if this is crooked, but maybe I'll fix it in post. Ah, this is, uh, Richardson's Beach, I think it's called. It's a nice little beach down here. But yeah, this is just a nice spot to kind of end the day, collect my thoughts, see where I want to go, see what I want to do with the rest of my time here. Probably just want to soak in some of these waves, these non-existent waves with the sound face. But yeah, another solid day. Thank you again for tuning in. Nobody's paying me for this. Spent hours to get here, spent hours here, spent hours figuring out what I wanted to do before I even came here. That's what really sets apart a hobbyist versus someone who really wants it. So yeah, I'll end that here. If I don't see you again at the other beach, it's been a dope day, got lots of cool time lapses. The clouds really cooperated, which is why I wanted to come today because next week we're supposed to get nice weather. It's supposed to warm right up and it's not supposed to be that cloudy. So I figured today was like my only option and I'm glad I did. Once again, super happy I did this. Never a bad idea. See you next time. Peace.